A Gantt chart and a Monte Carlo simulation can work together to help me understand when my project will be complete when I have to work with variable estimates. I've prepared a project schedule for redesigning my website's login flow, but there's a lot of variability in our timeline, so I don't feel confident that my team can meet this schedule. I want to know how the variability in our estimates will affect the timing of our release date so that I can more confidently commit to a release schedule. I want to be sure that my Gantt chart is set up with task dependencies so that a change in one task duration will affect the timing of other tasks. If I update my estimated number of days a task will take, my project end date will shift. I'd like my Gantt chart worksheet to reflect the uncertainty in my timelines, so instead of recording that a task will take three days, I will use the RAND between formula to show it will take somewhere between two and five days. I can add RAND between formulas for each task with an uncertain duration. The values will be re-randomized every time the sheet is recalculated. What I'm really interested in knowing is how all of these different possibilities of timelines will impact my release date. I can use a Monte Carlo simulation to run through a lot of different possibilities. It will recalculate the Gantt chart many times and will read in my project end date each time it recalculates. I can link the workbooks on the interface tab of the Monte Carlo by specifying that the output is my project end date from my Gantt chart. In my case, the project is over once both the website and the app are ready to be released. Now that my task durations are randomized and the end date is linked to my model, I'm ready to run the simulation. In the Monte Carlo Analyticator sheet, I'll choose how many times I want to calculate the end date, and then I'll click Run Simulation. When the simulation finishes, I can see the projected end date of my project. I also get a histogram that shows the distribution of possible end dates for my project. In my case, the project will always finish on a weekday, so there are some holes in the histogram where the weekends are. Now I have a much better sense of how long this project will really take, and I can plan for it more confidently.